we are going to visit our friend later for dinner so that we think it's better that for us to do a swap test before we go over and this is a swap test kit that you can buy in Watson, Guardian or even 7-Eleven um, I had did myself swap test twice uh, when I have a photo shoot in the old folk homes and have you do it by yourself before? Uh, I think we should give our friends from overseas the local context as well. Oh, so yes. um, in recent uh, months, right, um, this over-the-counter kind of uh, swab test kit has been made readily available in pharmacies across uh, the island in Singapore. So the main um, idea is um, to actually transfer the, um, the onus onto the... Uh, citizens themselves to be responsible for their own health and to protect themselves. So uh, these are readily available uh, in pharmacies for that uh, purpose. Yeah, and there are different brands as well. Mm. So even in supermarkets, you can actually get all these swap test kits. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. You saw that in Sing Song? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not sure uh, this brand is from which country, but it's so... only take 10 minutes to get the result. So this is, uh, the brand is called Quidel and it's a quick view at home over the counter COVID-19 test. Um, yeah, so there is this very uh, big, piece of uh, instruction pamphlet um, indicating like a step-to-step -step, um, to-do list in order to successfully um, administer the entire test. Oh. So uh, you can even scan the QR code to learn more about the company that produces this uh, swab test kit. And most importantly, they even indicated like the uh, swab test result that you should be expecting, whether if it's positive or negative. Yep. Yeah. So this box is contain another language of the guide, uh, how to use it. Mm -hmm. And then it's also contained two pieces of the test kit. By the way, uh, this is from San Diego, USA. So ah. yeah. Mm. Okay, so what you can see that uh, there are the things inside this box, uh, the solutions, and then the the thing that go deep into your nasal. So let let us read that. How we're going to use it first? Uh, you don't have to uh, put it deep into your nasal passage for this. Uh, you just have to rub both nose nostrils. Yeah, in a circular motion, in mm -hmm. the inside wall of each nostril at least four times. Four times. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so that's it. And then you put the swab in the tube uh, inside uh, into the liquid and then ensure that it's touching the bottom and then you stir three to four times mm -hmm. and you leave the swab in the solution for one minute thereafter you remove the swab from the tube and you open the test strip and then you place the test strip into the tube with the arrows pointing down and you leave the strip in the tube for a full 10 minutes remember not to handle or remove it and once 10 minutes is up you can remove the test strip and then um, the test result should return with either a positive or a negative so uh, when you do the swab test by yourself things that you need to prepare is tissue because that uh, once you like poke inside the nasal it's like you might get like uh, you need to blow your nose or like tearing so uh, there will be a pink and blue stripe so, pink and blue combine. Right? A positive result must show both a blue line and a pink line near the blue line. <laughs> this one is quite confusing, like the pregnancy test. <laughs> right. Okay, should I go first? Okay. Okay, I just shower. It's like thundering, raining heavily outside now. So, I need to un do I need to unscrew this first? No, right? You remove, okay, that's step yeah, that's number one. one. You check all your test kit. Mm -hmm. Make sure you prepare the tube with the tube holder. And then the swaps and a watch or a timer. 
and test. Oh, okay. Do you have a timer? You don't need to on open it first. Oh, okay, and that's step two. You place the tube in the tube holder, remove the cap, and then uh, use of gloves is recommended. Okay, I just shower. So, uh, so you remove the swab from its wrapper. Be careful not to touch the swab head and gently insert the swab half to three quarter of an inch into the nostril, depending on the size of the person's nose. Firmly wrap the swab in a circular motion around the inside of each nostril at least four times. Be sure to wrap both nostrils with the same swab. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then after you place the swab in the tube and immediately uh, you ensure that it's touching the bottom and yep. you stir it three to four times. Okay. Have you stirred it? Yep. And then you lift the swab in the solution for one minute. Leave it. Okay. Timer. Okay. Then the timer, your phone is over there. Okay, just wait for one minute. Here, hold here. So there's an indicator. Uh, on. Wait, no. you don't remove that first. Okay. You wait for the one minute to okay. be up. And then you uh, remove the swap from the tube. You open the test strip. Then you insert. So you throw away the swap stick and then you insert the strip into the solution. Okay. So like a little bit tearing. <laughs> it's quite uh not that comfortable, but I mean at least I can adjust your own strength that like the 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 movement at least you can For control. For me personally, I do not like to do the swap test <laughs> because I have surgical procedures done to my nasal passage that resulted in a um, hypersensitive nasal passage really for me. Ah. Yeah. Okay. One minute is almost done. Okay. Can I pick it up? You need to dispose the swap stick and then you open the test strip at the slit and hold the strip as indicated. Hold where there is a lot of wording. wordings. That's the SARS antigen okay. wording. And then you place the strip into the tube with the arrows pointing down okay. and leave it uh, for 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. Okay, and 10 minutes starts now. So do not touch or move it, right? Uh, do not handle or remove. So you need to hold it for 10 minutes. You want to do it, your your turn? Okay. 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 You got to do it here. Maybe it's just I hold this for you, so you uh just take whatever you need. I really hate to do this. <laughs> I'll leave the mic here for you. Um, I'm supposed to... Oh, so let me get my phone for the timer, right? Because you need one minute for... Oh, I can this. just minus off now. Okay. Okay. Um, open the I'll open page. for you. Yeah. Okay, you may go now. One inch, right? Yeah. Wasn't that you had to roll, roll, roll like this? Uh, I hate this. Eh, one each only. Okay. 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 Go inside. Okay. You have to stir three or four times in the bottom, and then put it back to. Oh, one. Leave it for one minute. Okay. Okay. 
prepared to just post this. Uh, okay. I think camera. Okay, I'm gonna remove this swap stick. And then similarly, oops, I'm going to put in the <laughs> test strip and leave it inside for 10 minutes. So I'm going to count and then I'm going to leave it in at the seventh minute. Okay. Hold it. Then I will add another three more minutes later to get okay. this one. So I think this one is quite easy and quite uh, simple compared to what I did in another hospital at the Ofo Home. So what I do is that they give you one uh, something like a chip. You have to paste some transparent cover on the result area. Mm. So you do something uh, similar, roll, 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 and then you put in the solution and then you drip the the solution into the chip kinds of thing then you see a C and a D for the result and that one takes about 15 minutes and this one is quite fast only take 10 minutes mm. yeah so I think uh, with different manufacturer the process will be slightly different uh, therefore the instruction sheet or booklet is very important mm. to refer to to make sure that you conduct the swap test uh, very accurately but of course um, if you want to save yourself the hassle and you're willing to part with a bit of cash then you can go to the clinic to do the what they call the PCR which is like the very legit form of swap tests um, where they were sent to the laboratories to do like the analysis before coming back with a result which should be updated via um, the health hub for the health hub app for most of the residents in Singapore mm, but mm. that one takes slightly longer uh, usually you will know within a day uh, so that is the PCR so this is what we do is like the rapid testing so it's slightly different mm. this is just um, for like pre-event testing like you know uh, in the future after heightened alert phase actually eases uh, then uh, most likely um, uh, if you are going to events that has about a couple of hundreds of people then you may need to do the ART or the antigen uh, rapid testing yeah, actually they sell in yeah. two pieces and like 25 pieces and 10 pieces. They're different brand, that different amount. So that if you think that you need it for a, a big group, bigger group or all these things, then you might get into a bigger um, amount of the test kit. Yeah, I think with bigger... Um, I think in future, it will be like very easy. I mean, that it will be required that you have to do your own test before you go to the venue or you have to do it there you have to arrive early yeah which kind of like explains the re readily available test kit um, uh, in the market today because um, the government is trying to pass the onus uh, onto the res residents and citizens of Singapore to make sure that they exercise due responsibility uh, when they are interacting with members of the public that is not within the same household yeah, so I forgot to mention the price is $18.70 uh, $18. for these two pieces. So it's still uh, a slightly pricey. Yeah, me? as compared to the PCR, which is 100 over dollars. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, this would definitely be a cheaper alternative. Mm. Um, but but it, I don't think it's like 100% accurate for this test, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like maybe it's like 80% or 75%. I'm not sure about this brand, but uh, usually if you want a really, really accurate result, you have to go for the uh, clinic to make a better yeah. option. So so that's where I say that they were sent to the laboratory mm. to do like um, the further analysis. Yeah. Yep, we have about three minutes to go before we know Jim's result. So do you feel just not like any uneasy when you go <laughs> doing it? Like I actually really? played shit a little. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go in all the way. 
but yeah. it, but from the picture it shows that not necessary just, all the way. Yeah. yeah. It's it, the picture on the manual will show you that it's just right around this area. Yeah. Like, where you so, press the black head. So some of my swabbing experiences has been really unpleasant. Like um the swabber has no regard for your sensitivity <laughs> at all and then they just poked it right in. Like yeah. as if it's it's not um it's not flesh and blood. It's just like any normal machine or gadget that they are trying to play around with. So that's a little bit insensitive. This is how, how many times that you did the swab test? Uh, in total, I think this is like the fourth or fifth time that I've done it. This is my sixth time. Mm. So I'm quite okay with this. I just, uh, it, it won't take long. So I'm, I just think that it's still okay for me to do the swab test by myself. Mm. Two more minutes. I wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> so I will just take extra precautions to ensure that I don't have to go through the hassle of doing this. Yeah. And where to see the result? Oh, just You have to retrieve the strip and compare the strip with that indicated on Oh, so which means that uh, after 10 minutes soak into the solution and then do I need to take out and wait again? No, your results will show immediately once you retrieve it. Mm, okay, I see no colour here. Which is good news, isn't it? And Negative test results is oh. just a blue line. Oh, okay, okay, now I see a blue line. <laughs> yeah, if yeah. you see a red line, then something is wrong. Okay, but what is... The, oh, okay, but it's... This is positive. Oh. So there's like an indication for positive as I well see. as negative. All right, 52 seconds left. So which means at the back, and this one is also... Invalid. Oh. There's a very thick pink line in the middle, and that is an invalid result. Mm. I'll probably get an invalid result. <laughs> no, actually I see it's a, a, a blue line here really? now. Yeah. Okay. I also see mine is one blue line. So All right. like so we, we are ready to go for 10 dinner. Minutes, 10 minutes is like a very conservative buffer for you to make sure that you get the most accurate result out of this rapid testing, mm. I guess. So within like just now uh, with the 8th minute, the result should already show based mm. on what Jim observed yeah, earlier. Yeah, because I actually I see the result okay. here. So for 3, 2, 1, Jim can retrieve it. And then I need to add another Yay! Yes. A blue line. I think okay. you can see that, right? It's, yeah. Can. I will put it in the photo and then share with you all. Yeah, and then, uh, and, and then over here, the instruction also says that a blue line about one quarter or one third way through is actually a negative result. So I have another 2 minutes and 32 seconds to go before I review my COVID-19 test result. Uh, actually, we bought another test kit. Um, For another video. Yeah, yeah so uh, it's different. So there are a lot of different kinds of kit available on the market. Yeah, so you can actually just go and like shop around and then play around with it. Let's talk about the disposal for this uh, uh, kit. It's okay, just... honestly, I feel that it's very environmentally unfriendly because there is really a lot of trash that you need to get rid of. And some of this trash are not recyclable. Mm. So um, it's kind of sad, especially you see the usual instruction is like this big piece of paper mm. and it's color printed. So you can imagine- And it's in different languages. Are yeah, different so you pieces. can imagine like the amount of like waste that you are going to generate which, with each rapid testing. So that's a bit, um, unfortunate mm. I would say. But there are like uh, industrial usage test kit mm. it's just like a big box uh, like mm. what I did in the hospital it's just like a small thing they they pack it try, they try to pack the way yeah but even then it's like that plastic 
case is also yeah, a the chip, waste. The chip, yeah. yeah, I don't think it's good to good idea to recycle it. <laughs> yeah, it can't be recycled anyway. Yeah. So because it's medical waste, it's considered medical waste, so you cannot recycle it. So that's okay. the set. So it means let one more minute for you. So which means that you just pack everything and throw into the dustbin, mm. right? You just all the used test components should be disposed of in your household waste. Okay. Although I feel that it should be biohazard waste. Yeah, I also think it should be mm. that way, right? Like, like yeah. at least like, you have to indicate that if, let's say, positive, then like what is what should depose in the way or like bring to the hospital or what? It should mm. not just depose. Oh, okay, in, let's right? see. If it's a positive result, um, it means that proteins from the virus that causes the COVID-19 were found in your sample. And it's very likely that you have COVID-19 and it's important to be under the care of a healthcare provider. So uh, you should um, follow up with your healthcare provider for additional testing. And then... You should self isolate and yeah. Okay. It's blue. Blue Yay. blue. It's blue. We it's are safe uh, for dinner to, tonight. We are safe to visit our friends. Oh, yeah. See how responsible we are. Yeah, I think it's actually so should be done in that way. It should be like a social it should be inculcated as a form of social responsibility for everybody to not only protect yourself but also to protect um the members of the public which you are interacting with that are not within the same household. Mm. So with that, we hope you like the video that uh, it show you how clear to make the own test at home. Yeah, it's very, as you can see, it's really very easy. You just need to make sure that you have a watch, I mean, stopwatch to monitor yeah, the and tissue time. tissue to wipe your tear, to yeah, blow your nose. And, and then like you have to... You have to be encouraged to like go yeah, deeper a little bit. I mean, you can gauge by yourself. You right? sure you know how to, because the yeah. picture is quite clear. You really yeah. know and how to. And then do you it. don't have to, you know, uh, go through the hassle of traveling to a clinic. Mm. You can save time. And it's quite save the money. It's quite affordable. Yeah. Honestly, like for two pack. 15 plus is acceptable. As compared to 190 over dollars mm. for just a PCR testing, I think it's quite worth the peace of mind that you are buying yourself. Lah. Okay, mm. with that, we're going to say goodbye now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.